going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I am ready to bring my full review to you of the Wii Eidolon, which is a Justin Lundquist design. You guys can see his little logo there. Now this was a knife that I got in pretty recently. Um, I got this the same time I got the Civivi Stylum, which you guys saw in yesterday's video. Uh, you guys should be seeing this on Saturday, I think. So happy Saturday. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day so far and continue to have a good night. But yeah, diving right into this. Um, the reason I bought this is because this has been on my radar ever since I saw this come out at SHOT Show back in the beginning of 2021. Um, I like a lot of Justin's designs. Uh, his design language just kind of speaks to me. I have a Kaiser Feist in my collection that is uh, designed by him and I love that knife. Um, and this came out and I just thought that this was, it looked really good in pictures. Um, it was an Integral, which was, you know, I had never handled an Integral before, so I kind of wanted to check that out as well. And just, you know, the blade steel, which is 20 CB, um, just a lot of about it, you know, just kind of called it to me. And I, you know, I followed along and tried to see when it was coming out. And it was a finally announced that it was coming out, I think, I think it was like late, early August, I want to say, I think I got this in. Yeah, early August, I think is when it came out. Um, and I, I jumped on it and I bought it and I have really enjoyed my time with it. Um, but I'm going to say right off the bat, I am thinking about selling this too. I came off weird. I, I said that in a weird way. Um, but I, I'm considering selling this just because... Well, I'll explain it at the end of the video. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But so just I guess jumping right into materials, this is the uh, Wii Eidolon. Um, I got the gray G10 one. There was two versions of the gray G10 and two versions of the black G10, and then I think a carbon fiber one as well. Um, the different versions obviously were the blade types. Uh, this I got is just a nice drop point. Um, and then the other version available was a double, well, it was a dagger, but only a single edge dagger. Um, I just thought the drop point looked a little bit more, a little better in my opinion. Um, to me, dagger blades have to look, they're very, I don't know, to me, they're a very particular blade shape and they have to look good on the knife. Specific knives they look better on and stuff like that. So that's why I went with the drop point. And I like the gray G10 a little bit better than the black G10 just because it just called me, I guess, a little bit more. But this is the uh, Loop Over Style Deep Carry Milled Titanium Pot Clip. I really like how they did the pot clip on this. It's very minimalistic. Um, very similar to the Stylum uh, Pot Clip. Just almost like pen-like. Um, very, you know, it just it rides in your pocket well. It looks really good. So I was... And it looks good aesthetically on the knife too. I, I was really happy to see the pot clip on this um, turn out the way it did. Big, big thumbs up to Justin for designing that. Um, now, like I said, this is an integral. So this piece of G10 is all one piece, which is really, really cool. Um, the only two pieces that aren't you know, part of it are the two pivots. I thought that was just super, a super cool you know, addition to his collection and to his um, design language and stuff like that. I had obviously never handled an Integral before, like I said. Um, and most Integrals are three, four, five, six, sometimes more than that, um, $100. dollars Six, three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700, sometimes more than that. I said that weird. Um, but this was like $200, and I thought that that was a pretty good price for everything you got, plus an Integral. Um, now, like I said, the blade is 20 CV. There is no marking for the blade steel on here. But this blade is a hollow ground blade, hollow ground blade, and it is very, very thin. I mean, it's it's a thin blade stock, and then it's just you know, it's almost a full hollow. But there's a there's a swedge cut in right there. But I mean, it feels like I'm honestly touching my other finger. That's how thin it is. Um, it feels great. It's so so slicey. Um, you know, I, I definitely. I'm glad they went with a hollow grind on this rather than a full flat grind because this thing just is a slicing animal. Um, I love the blade on this. It's a big, another big shining point to me. You guys are probably going to wonder at the end of this video, wow, Alex, if you like this knife so much, why are you getting rid of it? Um, so, 
yeah, and then you just have the Wii logo there with a nice white pivot collar, G10. And then you have the screw over here, which I had a, somehow I marked up my, you guys can see that right there. There's a marking on my pivot, which I haven't taken this knife apart or even tightened it up or anything like that. So I, for, I don't know how that got there. Um, and then this is a front flipper. And I love how Justin designed the jimping on top here. It's just super minimalistic. And I mean, it's, it barely sticks out and it works super, super well. Um, the knife just tucks into everything and the handle, it's very, you know, just nice to carry. It, it's, it's, a, it's good, guys. A lot of this stuff, a lot of the materials on this are good. Um, you know, I, I have genuinely enjoyed having this knife in my possession and being able to carry it and use it a little bit. I did drop it one time on like blacktop or concrete. You guys can see there's a little bit of a marking there next to the pot clip, but um, not, not that bad. So yeah, that's all for materials. Uh, there is one liner on here where the liner lock is, and in the other, it's just the G10. Um, and there is no skeletonization going on, which this knife is super, super lightweight just because it's basically all G10. Um, so you really don't need any skeletonizing or another liner on there. Uh, so that's interesting. And then yeah, jumping right into action. Like I said, this is Justin's new sort of out the top flipper tab here and it works very very well um, you just grab it and you flick it out very very fun to play with very just out of the way indiscreet i really love how he put this on here um, it, it just feels really good rolling off the finger no matter what i mean the normal way to open a front flipper is you just take your thumb and you flick it out that way or you can take your pointer finger and kind of do like a top flip and that comes out very, very well. Uh, this is on bearings, so it's very smooth. And for it being such a small, lightweight blade, um, it drops pretty well. You know, I, I close it with the liner lock, it drops and hits my finger, and then I shake it shut. Um, that just seems to be the type of uh, closing method that I have chosen to do it with. Um, and you know, it's, it's very comfortable, it's very fun. Um, and I just, I really love how the top jimping looks on this knife and functions on this knife and feels on this knife and just all around a lot of you know high praises for me so i messed up on that one but and then the uh, liner lock has some jimping on it just real easy to grab onto with your thumb push blade falls and hits your thumb and then you can just shake it or sometimes I'll just tap it closed. So action's very good, it's very smooth. Um, I have put no, as I drop the knife, I have put no you know, pivot lube or anything like that to aid in the um, you know, smoothness of it. It just is like that from factory. No blade play, just very, very smooth, very nice, um, very fun. So action's good. Next up is Ergos. And Ergos, for it being a small knife, is pretty good too. Uh, this, obviously, like I said, is small. Um, there's no jimping up top here, just jimping down below. And I can just get all four fingers on here. Uh, I mean, my pinky is just just hang, hanging on, kind of, just barely hanging on. Um, but it's it's good. It's, you know, the G10 is very well contoured. Uh, the pot clip barely comes off the scale, so you're not gonna feel that, you know, at all when you're in a grip. Uh, and it's just, it's comfortable. I know some guys, like Kevin, uh, was, the knife was a little too small for them, that's why they didn't keep it. But for me, it fits my hands well. Um, obviously, I knew it wasn't gonna be that big of a knife, uh, but it, it has turned out to be quite comfortable when I'm using it, um, whether I'm in this grip, which is, I'm primarily in a saber grip, a hammer grip sometimes or I'm using it I don't know what type of grip you would call this but if I'm like cutting out stuff or opening packages um, a lot of times I hold my knives like that and they're very comfortable um, the spine is all kind of crowned a little bit uh, it's you know it's a nicely done spine and it's very comfortable to rest your either your thumb or your pointer finger on um, there's just it's just comfortable nice little landing area up there and yeah, ergos are good. Uh, next is carry, and carry is also very, very well done. Uh, you know, the pot clip, which I kind of gushed over, I love how it looks, I love how it functions. Just super small, 
Uh, this thing is super lightweight and it just kind of disappears in your pocket. Now I, I just like there's no hard edges, no jimping to really catch your um, fingers on. It just it carries super super well. Very small, very discreet, and I I have had no issues with it. I've carried it um, primarily back right pocket because I'm still wearing shorts. It's still hot out here in PA, um, so I can't you know address how it carries in jeans, but. From what I can picture, it would carry awesome in your front right pocket of jeans or front left pocket of jeans. Um, so yeah, I just, I guess one thing with uh, carry, I will say that this is not a reversible pot clip. There is no um, anything, you know, to put a pot clip over there. So that could have been changed, I guess. there It would have been nice to have that for the lefties out there. Uh, but yeah, carries very, very well, so. I would like to go over now price point and what I recommend this knife and like I said you guys are gonna be like yo Alex you basically have said nothing bad about this knife why are you getting rid of it and that is simply because I was thinking one night you know I just I want to get other stuff in on the channel I want to you know just experience new things and sometimes Jake bearded gear in his videos he'll go over and you know talk about stuff that he has loved but he has gotten rid of just to chase other things and that's kind of why I'm doing it that's kind of why I have chosen I think to sell this knife and plus I was comparing it to my Kaiser Feist and the Feist is a great knife I love that knife um, that is actually the first review on my uh, channel so if you guys want to go back like six months and witness me being very cringy and very um, uncomfortable in front of the camera definitely go do that but it's, it's basically the same size of the knife. Obviously, um, this one's G10, that one's uh, Micarta, um, and that one has S35VN, and this one has 20CV, which 20CV is a little bit better, but in my mind, a uh, front flipping knife, small like this, those aren't really built for hard duty tasks, so S35VN on the Feist is much, much, um, it's very, very adamant for what you're gonna be using it for. And I just thought, you know, I, I don't need two front flippers. Um, as much as I do like this, it is very, very fun. I honestly enjoy the, you know, the flipper tab on this a little bit better than the Feist. It's over on my table right now. I, I'm too lazy to get up. I just want to finish this. Otherwise, I'd show it to you guys. Um, but I like the Feist, and that was a gift for me from my parents for Christmas. So I'll never get rid of that knife. Um, to wear this I bought this with my own money so I feel more I, I'm kind of anything that was gifted to me by my girlfriend parents family friends anything like that I will always keep in the collection um, but I don't necessarily feel that way about knives I get in those are the ones that I if I if I'm you know want to get something else want to chase something else I will sell so that's just kind of where my mindset's at if you guys can you know hopefully I was able to portray that well enough to you guys to understand. Um, at the end of the day, basically short story version. It's the same size as the Feist, uh, and I just, it, if I want to carry a small front flipper, that does basically everything that this does. Um, it Maybe not as well as this, because the action on this might be a t tad better. Um, the blade steel is obviously a little bit better, but that's still a fine knife. It's still you know an amazingly good knife in my opinion. So I just, I would like to just chase other things. And this is just, maybe one day, um, if I'm, you know, if I really sell this and I'm upset that I have gotten rid of it, I could see myself maybe buying one back because it is a great knife. You know, enough about me wanting to sell it and stuff like that. I've kind of already explained that to you guys. But, you know, for price point, for like $195, um, if you buy this at White Mountain Knives, you can use Kevin's code, 10% off saves you like 15 bucks. Um, but at that price point, you're getting, you know, an integral G10 front flipper that is designed by one of, you know, I think Lund Justin Lundquist is very well respected. He has a ton of good models out and I think that, you know, the G10 is nicely done. The pot clip is super, super unique and super cool. Um, you're getting a phenomenally thin edge or a phenomenally thin blade that is a hollow grind 20 CV is honestly I think one of my favorite steels um, so you're getting just a ton of good materials you're getting 
a really cool flipper tab that has awesome action. Um, a couple different ways to open it. Just all around like a great knife. Like there's not one thing on this knife that I can really complain about. Maybe the fact that they should have put a left hand, you know, carry option on here, but I guess that doesn't necessarily affect me and my use of the knife. So really like this thing is just, it's kind of a home run, I guess. Um, and I, you know, I'm saying that right now and again, I, I'm wanting to get rid of it. So it's just, it's just weird how knives and stuff work like that. Like, um, I don't know. I just, I want to fuel the hobby and I want to get new stuff on the channel. So that's ultimately why I'm selling it. But I would absolutely recommend this knife to anybody. Um, it's, it's a great knife and I'm probably going to miss it right off the bat, but I think, you know, I might still be in the honeymoon phase a little bit over it just because it's it's a newer knife um, and I've been wanting it for a while. So that might be why um, I'm still kind of gushing over it even though I'm wanting to part with it. But yeah, the Wii Eidolon guys is a phenomenal front flipper. Um, Justin knocked out of the park with the design, the materials, basically everything he did with this knife. Um, I, I definitely really, really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I just, I hope I was able to, you know, portray how I love it, but I'm wanting to sell it and read things for that to you guys. And I hope you can understand that. So, um, this was my full review of the Wii Eidolon. Again, a Justin Lundquist design front flipper with an integral. Um, awesome, awesome knife. Leave a comment down below if you guys picked one of these up. If you're kind of, you know, if you're on the fence about it and if my review of it made you go one way or the other, um, or, you know, whatever experience you had with it, just definitely leave a comment down below. Also, if you guys have any other of Justin's knives, um, leave a comment as well. I would like to hear about what you have to say about that as well, just because he, he has a lot of cool stuff out there and I, I really respect him as a maker and a, as a designer. So thank you guys so much for, you know, stopping back in and supporting and watching my videos and just checking out the channel. Um, I love you guys so much. I uh, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.